about branches of physics if you remember yesterday uh, in previous lecture we have discussed with uh, physics a detailed study of physics we have discussed uh, from where physics came we have discussed science we have discussed natural philosophy we have discussed physical sciences biological sciences furthermore we have discussed the sub branches of uh, physical sciences we were having five branches physics chemistry geology astronomy and metrology these were five branches we have already discussed a detail about that we have discussed applications of physics physics of daily life and all the phenomena and things which we are using in our daily life which are concerned with physics physics enables us to understand all those things we have researched on that okay we have understood all those things now today we are going to take start with uh, the new topic lecture number two that is branches of physics okay we are having a lot of branches of physics physics is a very wide subject it is spread all over uh, uh, it has a lot of branches but in our course there are some branches discussed let me discuss one by one okay now the first is mechanics mechanics is one of the most important branch of mechanics okay what is mechanics mechanics is actually the motion of objects under the action of forces when we apply forces on object it moves the motion of objects is studied under what mechanics mechanics is what mechanics is the motion of objects under the action of forces like a car is moving a football kick all these we study in mechanics like falling objects friction weight spinning objects all these come under era uh, under uh, under field of what under field of uh, mechanics okay next we are going to discuss is heat and thermodynamics you know heat and thermodynamics is very broad uh, 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 class of physics in which we discuss about heat their transformation from one body to another body motion uh, uh, the conversion of heat energy from one form to another form like there are different processes we discuss in very detail in uh, uh, the heat and thermodynamics branch okay like we discuss melting and freezing processes engines refrigerators cooling efficiencies and etc all these things we are going to discuss in heat and thermodynamics right third branch is oscillation and waves you know oscillation and waves uh, is one of the most important branch of physics in which we discuss to and fro motions back and forth motion about the object about uh, 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 about their mean position or equilibrium position or central position we discuss the motion of objects uh, to and fro motion vibratory motion oscillations back and forth motion all these things we discuss in oscillation and waves we discuss spring water wave sound pendulum mass attached to a spring all these things in simple uh, uh, in oscillation and waves uh, branch okay next we are going to discuss the fourth branch that is optics the word optics is derived from optica which means light which means seeing using of light and its properties its phenomena all these things we discuss in optics optics light and the instruments created to use or detect it to use or to detect it okay we uh, uh, use with optics optics includes different properties of light right? like reflection of light refraction of light uh, uh, and different phenomena related to light we are going to discuss all these details in the field of optics right okay next we are having electricity and magnetism you know in electricity or magnetism we discuss about the charges at rest about the charges in motion like when charges moves what kind of behavior they show like when they are static at rest what kind of behavior they show what kind of energy they possess all these things we discuss with what electricity and magnetism so we can simply say that static as well as moving uh, charges and associated physical phenomena the production of electricity motion of charges detail about charge all these things are related to what electricity and magnetism right we discuss electrical charge circuits magnets electromagnets all these things are studied under what electro electricity and magnetism now let's come towards fifth branch that is atomic and nuclear physics atomic and nuclear physics is actually a detailed study about atom its central part what we call nucleus the properties of nucleus the size of atom the particles the constituents the components which are inside atom the shape of atom energy of atom its variation it's all the thing uh, we discuss in what we discuss in 
atomic and nuclear physics so atomic and nuclear physics is actually the structure and properties of uh, individual atom and nuclei of an atom right okay we we fall x-rays lasers nuclear reactors mri ct screen etc all these are studied under the branch of atomic and nuclear physics okay now the sixth branch we are going to study is relativity relativity is very interesting branch of physics most of the work is done by einstein uh, father of he is also known as father of modern sciences uh, what is relativity relativity is actually moving objects including high high very including including very high speed including very high speed and gravitation in fact all these are studied in what relativity like motion of objects with very high speed is studied under relativity okay uh, then we have quantum physics you know quantum physics the word quantum is derived from quanta which means which are actually uh, some definite discrete packets of energy in energy is enclosed in it uh, in 1855 there was a scientist hers uh, who called these energy packets as oscillators then in 1900 einstein called the same energy packets as photons then in uh, 1932 max planck called those energy packets as quanta the plural is quantas so we can say that the in the study of very minute discrete particles like quantas known as what quantum physics this is very interesting branch of physics okay we discuss atom and its parts like very minute parts we discuss in quantum physics okay then we have particle physics particle physics is very interesting branch of physics in particle physics we are going to discuss like the particles their families their origin their evolution all these things we are going to discuss we are only in in metric grade we are only familiar about electrons protons and neutrons but do remember one thing electron proton and neutron these are just only particles for understanding do remember one thing electron has its own large family proton has its own large family neutron all else also has its own large family there are uh, more than 99 particles existing just within the nucleus we are only familiar about electrons protons and neutrons but there are more than 99 particles existing in the nucleus what we call nucleons there are a lot of nucleons lot of particles existing inside the nucleus for example quark lepton photon boson meson kion pi all these are what these are particles and they they have some families as well but we are only concerned with physics chemistry uh, sorry we are concerned with only electrons protons and neutrons over here so in particle physics we discuss the detail the families the uh, the the sub branches of different particles their properties their nature all these things we are going to discuss in particle physics okay then we have cosmology and astrophysics in cosmology and astrophysics we discuss universe its evolution origin size shape width and different variations coming time to time in it we discuss in cosmology and astrophysics we discuss different radiations we discuss different properties of it different behavior of it the changes occurring due to these all radiations all these thing we study in cosmology and astrophysics okay we discuss stars we discuss galaxies we discuss black holes all these things are discussed in what cosmology and astrophysics then we are coming towards bio and medical physics you know bio and medical physics is a field very interesting and very useful uh, what is happening over there the physical interactions of biological processes and application of physics health processes such as prevention diagnosis treatment like treatment of a certain disease like a uh, 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 diagnosis prevention to find out uh, by using different tests when a patient come to the hospital so the doctor prescribes some test to it so all these tests are done by the help of physics processes physics equipment physics methods so that the doctors become under, uh, like they understand that what is the basic problem with the patient okay we use mri magnetic resonance imaging we use ct scan uh, uh, radio tracers we use a uh, uh, different uh, uh, and conduction in different living cells all these things we discuss in what we discuss in bio medical physics let me summarize the thing let me summarize today's topic in today's topic if you remember we uh, we have done with branches of physics in branches of physics we have done a detailed discussion of different branches although we know that there are so many branches but in our course some of the branches are included we are going to discuss in detail we have discussed uh, uh, mechanics we have discussed thermodynamics we have discussed oscillation and waves we have discussed optics we have discussed uh, 
electric chain magnetism, atomic and nuclear physics, relativity, quantum physics, particle physics, cosmology and astrophysics, and bio and medical physics. All these things um, were included in, bio, uh, in branches of sciences. Hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah. Fi Amanillah.